Hey, what's up on the Town TV? Al the Van Man from Rock 103. And it's Sean O'Brien, the SOB. Glad to be here with On the Town TV. Robert D. Rayford is going to be here in just a couple of minutes. And make sure you keep it tuned to Rock 103 as we're giving away trips all around the world to destinations such as Cancun. Mexico. Wait, wait, Cancun is Mexico. <laughs> the Bahamas. Hawaii. The Jetaway Getaway 04 every day, Monday through Friday, three times. Chance to win a Rock 103 on the town TV.com and Rock 103. Woo! Yeah. We're down here with Robert T. Rayford. We've got Fazoli's down here providing mm. some awesome food. We're out here. We got some uh, fettuccine, baked ziti, spaghetti. Going to feed everybody out here to see Robert T. Rayford today. Oh, they're liking it. Oh, they're loving it. What do you do? You catering this or what? Oh, uh, yes, sir. We're catering. We, uh, we cater many events, schools. Uh, churches, sporting events, anything. It doesn't matter. I'll be there. Great, great. Don, well, tell them how to get up with you, baby. You can call me at the restaurant over on McPherson Church Road. Phone number is 860-3636. Just ask for me, Donald. We are with the man, Robert D., from John Boy and Billy. Tell me, Robert, did you really ride that motorcycle all the way down Wait here? Wait a minute. Sure, we rode down here. How, did you, how many miles? Left this morning from my home in Concord. Came down here and glad to get back. Hey, what do you mean? How? You are in supreme shape. I can tell that. I, I tell you, you want an argument right here, right? No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> yeah, did he really ride that? What do you think it is? I, I hauled a sucker down here from and, and, and started riding like John Boy and a John Boy haul. And well, then see, I had heard that truck. John Boy does that, and that's why I asked you that. Oh, well, and me and John Boy, they're two different people. Man. John, I love him like a brother, though. That's the truth. Where did you get the name, the grumpy old man? I don't know. Where did you get that? I don't uh, know. what somebody told me. Well, they told you wrong. I'm the curmudgeon, curmudgeon at large. And that's not necessarily grumpy, although, you see, I don't suffer fools very, very gladly. And people write in things and they, they do. And by the way, it's not a call-in show. People say, do you get calls and this, that? We don't take any calls unless it's a contest, right? But we get a whole lot of letters and things like that. But they, I don't call it a curmudgeon at large. A curmudgeon is a person who, uh, who really observes things. I call it a cur curse of sensitivity. You observe a lot of things and, and, and you... You let people know about it, you see? So it's not really, really grumpy. As you can see, I'm very happy. I see that. Hey, your observations are bright, and your point of view is very firm. Thank Have you had a chance to visit the Airborne and Special Operations Museum while you're no, here? No, I haven't. I hope to, but I got kind of lost as I was coming down here riding. It was a beautiful day to ride, and I wanted to go down there, but I haven't had a chance to, uh, to see that. But I would certainly like to do that one day. I've been to the museums over on the, the 82nd, over on the base. As I say, I went through the jump school there in 1961. And, uh, I went through there as a correspondent in 61, and subsequently logged 27 jumps with the 82nd and one with the 101st, where they were still jumping out of airplanes. And I have jumped with the Golden Knights, uh, another tandem with them, oh, a couple of years ago. Hope to do another one here, maybe when P Day celebration comes up. You know, uh, Tiger Woods jumped out here the other day. He did the tandem. And uh, the president's father, George H.W. Bush, is going to do one, I think, on his 80th birthday celebration sometime in June. So, uh, of course, the tandem jump is different, but I'm, I've gone through the other one. I've, I've done a lot of sport jumping, too, over the years. But log 27 with the, uh, with the 82nd and as a correspondent. I just don't know what it would be like to roll a half a year in your shoes. You've got a very exciting life. And let me tell you something, guys. If you want to hear some really firm, awesome points of view, listen to Robert D. Rayford on the John Boy and Billy Show with Rock 103.